So, I've been gone for a while, right? Um, yeah, because sometimes life happens. <laughs> and, um, oh my goodness, it's so bright. It's early, and it's so bright. Wow, I'm actually tired for once. Oh gosh. Anyway, um, yeah, life has been happening. I've been working so much, like always. Um, and, uh, I wanted to show you guys something, which I feel is super insane. So my hair keeps growing and growing and growing. And it is now super, super long. It's the longest my hair has ever been in my whole entire life. And it is a pain in the butt because I have to keep untangling it. And do you see that? It's just, even if I brush my hair once, twice a day, it still does that. So, today I am going to chop at least that much off of it. Um, I don't do hair salons because I don't really trust people with scissors. <laughs> they always cut more than you want them to, so I'd rather do it myself even if it's, if, even if it's gonna look like crap. Um, I'm just gonna cut a little bit of my hair off. And also I wanted to um, give you guys an update on my rose, uh, my rose that I planted. Um, let's see, how do I, well, I usually, let me just show you, I usually buy roses from the grocery store or flowers and I put them in my my little wine bottles. So the roses that I'm talking to you guys about, I bought them and I put them in the wine bottles and when I was going to change them out, I noticed that one of them had sprouted like a little, like a little leaf and, and I thought, holy crap, uh, the rose itself is dead, the bloom, but the stem is still alive and it's still growing. So I decided to plant them so in my... I have this weekly ritual where I buy flowers for myself and I put them in these bottles. And I haven't changed the flowers in about, mm, I don't know, a week and a half or so. And they started to sprout little babies. So I think I'm just, I mean, I don't know what the heck is going on, but I'm going to plant these in my dead tree pot because uh, yeah my tree died <laughs> I think it's safe to say it's dead but I'm gonna put this in there and um, now I have these rows all well, this rose that's basically growing a new rose out of it let me show you I know it doesn't make any sense right now by the way my parents bought me these crows because they know I love Halloween and also gonna has a bunch of crows but you see this here, it's all green. Like, I don't even know what the hell this is over here, but um, I think it might just be a weed. But then up here, we have my tree that died. And then here we have the rose. All that green is coming from this rose here. And then this is also growing as well. Oh, that's growing that. But that's dead, this is dead. And right about here, oh my gosh, it's not focusing. So you see a little rose bud thing. Oh my goodness, wait. And then there's, it's gonna bud something else right there too. So that's what I'm totally excited about because it's just a beautiful contrast of life after death. And <laughs> not to be so dramatic, but. That's what it kind of, it reminds me of, like, there's always something positive out of, even up, even with death, that's an, a good example of it. Jeez Louise, my brain is super tired right now. Um, the time is 6.52, I've been being a lazy bum for the last 22 minutes, but it's time for me to get, go and take a shower now and cut my hair a little. So, all right, so first things first, you gotta untangle your hair <clears throat> and make sure. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'll talk about more. But today, I'm just gonna go straight here. So see, um, the concept is to just chop a little way at a time, and then, um, pretty good. So, I just wet this a little tiny bit, and then I'm just gonna go See, this much, this much, a lot of people would die because they're putting their hair like this, but not me. Okay, there's one piece. Aha. And next. So see, now I have that. Now what I do is I start to even it out, I guess. So. <clears throat> you can sort of put it into sections like this. Bigger section, better. I could probably afford to chop off more, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Let me get my little trash can set up. So what I do is I just kind of go like this, randomly. Oh, for those of you that cut hair, you're probably cringing right now. Even. <laughs> can't even tell. <laughs> so, now you just part your hair down the middle and you come over here and if you still want to chop off some more, then you do it. I'm gonna chop it all up right away. Mm. You know, I think I'm satisfied for now because most of the split ends are, are gone now. Yeah, you can't really tell. And once I blow dry my hair, I'm sure it'll look good. Here for the front, Sometimes I get ballsy and I like do stuff like this, but today I'm just gonna leave it be. So it's Mary Jo's birthday today, and I just bought these balloons for her. <laughs> but I have a tiny car, and I won't be able to see out the back window if I have them here. So what I'm gonna do is hopefully uh, execute this properly where I can tie them here. Just let them go out and sit with That works. Yeah, I think it'll be good. Hopefully I don't get stopped. I'm only going a few blocks away anyway. <laughs> Alright. Got it. I hope these things don't fly away. Alright, there. 
hope she doesn't make it to the office before I do. She usually doesn't, but let's see. No one ever said this could be illegal, but who knows if a cop will be like, what the fuck is this person doing? Why are they driving around with balloons, distracting others? But I have no other option. office I hope she loves it <laughs> and I bought her these slippers they're just some little crappy slippers um, because uh, she likes to take off her shoes in the office so so rather than her walk around barefoot on these third floors <laughs> she's gonna have slippers oh she just made it do you love it yeah who did it oh thanks I mean, it's your birthday. Thank oh, you. how could you forget it's your birthday? I don't know. Oh my gosh, she's here. Well, hurry up. We're in the meeting already. Oh, no. I, I might have a request for vacation. Maybe. <laughs> Secretive over here with Maria. Getting stuff ready for Mary Jo. Oh gosh. I don't want to burn you. Did it go? to us. Are you gonna really do it? Yeah, for real. Okay, fine. Cool. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Huh? Is it recording? I think so. You wouldn't want to say it's a girl. Well, I guess you couldn't know. It would have been you say it's a girl and then it's a boy. Can you imagine if, if, if mistakes yeah. have happened where they say it's a girl and it's actually Well, a he, boy. he said, well, she, they did it with a blood test, though. Oh, okay. so it can't be. Yeah. Not the ultrasound mistake where, like, oh, okay. it <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not working. Now you gotta stop it. You don't wait until he comes back. Shoes look like me. Oh, pretty. Okay. They do look like me. Okay. And there's another receipt that looks just like this. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Christ. You should have seen what they did to me. I had a copy all of here and 